guys, Katrina here, the Zebra Weenie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing my favorite t-shirt today, as you can see. I said it says I'm sitting on my arse, not my brain. I I love this t-shirt because people think that just because you're in a wheelchair, you're basically stupid. <laughs> but uh Anyway, today I'm going to show you my collection of braces and my leg braces. So these are my uh, leg braces here. Uh, now these are issued by the Appliance Clinic in Musgrave Park Hospital in Belfast. The waiting list is very long for, for them. It's six months just to get an appointment. So if anything goes wrong with these, I have to wait six months without them, which I think is absolutely diabolical, but what can you do? It's our wonderful government's cutbacks. Now, these are the knee brace part. They chose to give me uh, separate knee braces and uh, AFOs because they are lighter than the alternative, which is a KAFO or knee ankle foot orthotic it's called uh, these are made by bar barfing i think they're called uh ah yes there's a name there uh barfing i'm sure i'm not pronouncing that correctly but anyway uh, i think they're called genutrain or something but anyway these are elasticated and they have hinges in them which you can see running down the side of it there and then there's a sort of like a donut shaped buttress in the middle to keep my knee from dislocating and this helps to um, stop my knee from bending backwards and it keeps my patellas in place and I have them for both legs as you can see and uh, now these are real pig's ears to wear. I hate wearing these because they pinch you when when you move and they cause pressure sores, which is why I'm only allowed to wear them for one hour maximum every day. Uh, these are, as I said before, uh, AFOs, ankle foot orthosis. These are, you have to be moulded to you. It's actually the same department in, in Musgrave Park Hospital that makes the uh, prosthetic limbs or the sockets for the prosthetic limbs. They also fitted me for, for these. Uh, basically, I had to get a plastic cast mould taken. Uh, and then I had to wait for about six months, as I said, to get another appointment. Even though it only takes two or three weeks for these to be made. Uh, what they do is they take a plastic cast mould of your leg and then make a model from it. And then they put the heated plastic over the model and then stretch the the colour or the design on on top of that uh, and then basically finish it up and polish it and put the straps on and whatnot. Uh, these are designed to stop my knees from the oh sorry, apologies. These are designed to stop my uh, knees from bending over backwards or bending over the wrong way backwards and they also help the when I can nearly speak today when I am wearing these basically this is all that is holding my ankle together uh, my consultant says that my, my ankles resemble two uh, sacks of loose bones and I got turned down off with the ankle fusion surgery because of the EDS so 
Oh, well, these things were sent to trash. As I said, solid plastic, you can hear it there. And there's, there's the other one as well. And you're only allowed to wear trainers with these. You can't wear dress shoes. Um, and again, they won't provide you with with uh, orthopedic shoes, but beggars can't be choosers. Like uh, to open it and put it on, you just undo all the straps. And then the same with the bottom figure of eight strap. And then you insert your foot, obviously, in there, and do up all the straps again. Sorry, this is really hard to do one handed. Uh, there are limitations to those types of supports or splints. Again, as I said, they cause pressure sores. Now, they can't be padded out very much. Because any pattern will affect the basic the basic function of the brace. Because of uh, because my ankles are the way that they are, they need to stay completely rigid when I'm walking. Uh, so if there is any pattern, it would cause movement. So I can't have any pattern, unfortunately, which uh, obviously makes it these very uncomfortable to wear. And plus they destroy every single pair of shoes that I have had. So I can't really buy expensive shoes or nice looking shoes. I just have to make do with cheap ones from shoe zone. Uh, sorry, nearly sliding out of my wheelchair there. Uh, because these uh, cause my ankles not to move, I need to trans to help. That's basically why the reason I need one of the reasons why I need the wheelchair. I need uh, these are my smart crutches, which Max has chewed chewed up. Hey, Max. Troublemaker. <laughs> uh, these are my smart crutches, which I need to use with the the leg braces because my ankle doesn't bend. It makes it very, very difficult to walk. And the slightest bit of uneven ground up means you can tip over really or fall over. Uh, these are uh, smart crutches, I think. Uh, it's smartcrutch.com. They're not provided by the NHS. I had to pay for them myself because the NHS ones were so expensive. Uh, but as you can see, Max destroyed them when he was a puppy. <laughs> can have nothing in this house. They're they're custom built to fit me exactly. I'm I'm six foot. So I need a really tall crutch. Uh, so that's it regarding leg braces. I have a custom made thumb brace, which I use when I'm pushing my wheelchair. Sorry, it's a bit disgusting, but uh, that's it really for braces for me. Hopefully I can keep Max away from my other stuff. Yeah, mister. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. But most importantly, please like this video because it helps others to find it. And maybe who's somebody who's getting AFOs or KAFOs would uh, find this and find it useful. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.